I'm so excited. I've got a hundred dollar Books A Million bookstore gift card to buy anything I want in the store. Will it be a new fantasy, a clean romance book, classics, a hobby book, Bible study tools, or my beloved writing journals, or a mixture of all of it? This is going to be fun. Come help me choose. Welcome to the Cozy Library office today with your Clean Reads book buddy. I am thrilled that Mr. American Spirit got me this gift card. Now let's go shop and see how many clean books I can get with this $100. I love to check out the new releases at the front of the bookstores and their beautiful covers. I rarely purchase from the front of the bookstores. I'm hesitant about the language, the spice, the gore in most of them, but I love a great biography. Have you read any of these? If so, let me know in the comments. Oh, I did not know that Christopher Paolini had a new book and so does Travis Baldry. I never read Legends and Lattes. Did you? But first coffee and then I'll head to my favorite places in the bookstore after I tell this veteran thanks for his service. <laughs> I'm carrying these around thinking about them doesn't mean I'm necessarily going to end up buying these things but what do you think what should I get hang tight and we'll find out one eternity later welcome back to the cozy library office I wanted to show you what I got for my $100 no it wasn't all of this but there's a reason that I have it here and don't be worried by the change of scenery. I am in the process of really working on this dream library office. So the bookshelf that goes here, I'm painting. Everything's a mess. Hopefully by the next video, all of that will be worked out. So kind of ignore that right now. But in front of us, I have got right in the middle what I actually purchased for $100. It's two classics two journals and some whatnots that I'll explain in a minute. But the reason that I have these here is because I wanted to show you last time, if you saw the video, I went to this bookstore looking for new clean romance. I ended up coming home with all of these, which I think in total, because one of them has four stories in one, I think there's nine altogether. I didn't feel like I was worthy to buy more this time because I haven't gotten to most of these. Plus, I really didn't see any more Christian fiction that I just had to have. There were a couple that looked interesting, but also in another video, you may have seen where I ordered and did an unboxing of this beautiful collectible series of Jane Austen novels. This uh, I saw on a Books A Million. I have quite a few of a collectible series of these books, and this one I just fell in love with because it has this etched 
book cover that is just so unique. And I love the inside how the ends of the books, blue is it with me, obviously. And the tips are painted blue. Plus on the inside, to match the cover, some of the pages with quotes have this etching look around them. And so I had ordered this for myself a couple months ago, I think. And then with the gift card that Mr. American Spirit got me, for the bookstore, he also purchased me, went in the store, I'm so impressed, and got me another one of these. Now this one still has the plastic on it. The jury is still out whether I'm going to keep the plastic on the rest of these because I took it off of this one that I got first because I just love seeing it, but I have realized taking it in and out of the bookshelf, it is very fragile and it does catch on things. So let me know what you think. Are you supposed to keep the plastic on? Are you not? Whatever. So when I got to the bookstore, I already had these. Of course, Jane Austen, I believe there's six novels altogether. So I kind of had that in the back of my mind. And I ended up, since I had the gift card, these are pretty pricey. They are $35 a piece. This is Persuasion. Again, still in the plastic, same price no matter the thickness. So this time around, I got Persuasion and Emma to go along with Northanger Abbey and Mansfield Park. So that took up a big chunk of my budget, but I was here for it. Very excited to have these, so I only have to get two more. And then in the Bible Tools area, I am a pen nerd. I love good pens. And I saw this one, who doesn't love a good multicolor clicker pen? But this one had some unique colors. Of course it had blue and so blue and black. I had to get that for sure, but it's also got the pink and the yellow, technically a Bible study tool, but you could use it for anything. And then I also love the Zebra brand and this is a highlighter that's not, that is not supposed to go through your pages. So I got those. And then this is a handy dandy little page holder. You're supposed to be able to put it in the center of your pages and it holds your book open. So I don't know, I was just thinking for, you know, if I'm multitasking and I need to hold that open, I haven't figured out how to use it in the best way. So there's that. Then let's look at these. I am such a sucker for journals. I am a writer by day, which is the main gig, but I just loved this. Isn't it so pretty? You can see, hopefully, the gold foil with a Jane Austen quote. It's got the little holder here, the elastic, and just having the blue with the butterflies, and I'm a gardener as well, so I just thought it was just gorgeous all the blue loving it so i've already started using it you can see but then it also has the pictures in the corners which i just love so i got that and then pemberley of course on the front and each one of these little plastic tabs all the way back has a quote on it on the front and the back the pink is pretty as well and I just fell in love with it. So that's what I ended up with. Two classics, two beautiful journals, some pens, and a little doodad here that I still have to figure out. But I had so much fun, and I just love the hubs for getting what he did. So I have plenty to read, plenty to doodle with. I'm set. Thanks for hanging out. Until next time.